Hey guys, it's Cody Hickman with 360 Catering Events. It's Cream Puff National Food Day, and your Cream Puff Chef is here. So here's what we're gonna do today. Uh, we've already made our pastry, uh, most of our pastry. We're gonna go ahead and put it into our mixer. What we've done so far already is put a little butter and water on the stove, melted that down, and then add flour to it. We're gonna put this on low. And that was, that's what made the doughy consistency. Now we're gonna add our eggs to it. We're gonna put, leave this on low and just very little eggs at a time. It's just taking a little bit of time to do, but patience is, is a virtue, correct? So that's running. We already have a, we already had some made up in a pastry bag already. So what I do is I use a gallon bag. I know a lot of people don't have these at home. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And basically all you wanna do is do on, a, on parchment paper, wax paper, whatever you have available, is do a coil type clockwise setting for your pastry. You're gonna preheat your oven to about 425 and let these go for about 10 minutes. We're just gonna do about five of these. We're gonna give a little space in between. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it into the oven at 425 for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna go over here to our, uh, for the cream filling that we're gonna do for the puff pastry. We're gonna add in our cornstarch. Vanilla, sugar, oh, it eggs, and a little bit of milk, pinch of salt. We'll put all, mix all these together nice and smooth. It's over here nice and hot and I'm gonna just slowly start streaming that in be very careful because you don't want to burn yourself let's go ahead and switch hands I'm alrighty so it's a little easier for me and I'm just gonna stream it in you don't want to do it too fast if you both start spinning on you that's fine just let it go let it do its thing. Once we have that in there, just stir and stir and stir. Just make sure you got a nice consistency. And now I'm going to add in my butter, cold butter, and let that melt. And what I'm going to do after this is all done. Then I'm going to put this in a uh, container into the refrigerator and let it cool overnight. And then I'm going to put it in a pastry bag later. So what our finished product is going to look like is these beautiful puff pastries. I cut in half and then filled them in with a pastry bag. I'm going to put a little... And I hope you enjoy. This is a great snack to have for desserts when you just want to not have something so filling. Please enjoy. At 3CC Catering Events, you'll always be able to see our uh, wonderful recipes that we've done over the past.